Welcome back to another episode of Kids Couch. In this episode, I've got a few surprise guests for you that you probably haven't seen in a while. And we're also going to be speaking about community. Hmm, I wonder what that is. Let's go see. So, um, for me, community is a group of people who have the same interests or um, same religion or same work or maybe family. Um, there has to be like a, a common ground for, for a community to be a community. Community definitely has to do with unity. A community is a group of people who have the same interest and who have things in common. Community, things in common. Hello everybody. Uh, community is uh, two things I think. It's a group of people that can that's staying together or in the same area geographically. And then it's also community can be a group of people that have the same interests like a motorbike community or a golf community. Yeah! Firstly, my family, and they are spread through like the whole South Africa mostly. And then I've got my spiritual family, <laughs> all of you back in Bloemfontein. Um, I've got my church community here in Belito. Um, I've got my work communities. Mm, yes. A team of 10 rugby players versus a team of 5 rugby players. Who is going to win? The team of 10 rugby players, obviously. So um, people are important. Unity. Working together is very, very important. We need people. People needs people. Uh, community is important because it's there's different factors. It depends on to what community you belong to. There's a supportive community like a church, so you always support it. That's why it's important to have those people around you. You get a community of friends, maybe the wrong community of friends that they are not so good for you, but they sometimes just inform you with the newest latest things so uh, that's why communities in community is important to be updated or just to be protected or aware of what's going on in your surroundings that type of thing and i think it's just the way that god created us you know it's it's important for us to belong somewhere and yeah to feel and be loved and to love others these are the people that will support you in times of need when you feel you're not good enough, you can't go on and you feel like you don't have the ability to, to believe in yourself. These are the people that will say, come on, let's give it a try. Let's go on. Give it one more chance. They are the people that remind us of who we are. With the internet, the world has become so small. You can sit in South Africa in your little room and be part of a community in Germany or in Italy or in Ethiopia via the internet. So, internet makes community life a bit easier and uh, much quicker. Making a call, calling a friend, hearing how they are doing. Uh, just giving them a word of encouragement. That will mean so much to them. Firstly, we have to realize that we have to be um, connected in our hearts and in our prayers. We can pray for one another even though we're not together always. We can carry one another in our hearts, one another's challenges and um, yeah, also just the happy times and the exciting times that someone is going through we can carry in our hearts. 
and then social media i mean it's so easy to send someone a whatsapp or give someone a call um so definitely that's a, a great way of staying connected What time is it? Scripture time. Go ahead, pause this video and get your Bible. Today we're going to read from Ecclesiastes 4. Ecclesiastes is in the Old Testament. It's between Proverbs and Song of Solomon. Are you there? Okay, so Ecclesiastes 4 verse 9 to 10. I'm going to read it for us. Two are better than one, because they have a good reward for their labor. For if they fall, one will lift up his companion. But woe to him who is alone when he falls, for he has no one to help him up. Here we see the wisest man, King Solomon, saying that it's better that we have friends around us and that we're not alone. Do you sometimes feel alone? Well, I know that I sometimes feel alone. And the best thing I can do is actually think about who I can phone or who I can message. Other people don't always know how we feel and, and that we feel alone. And they could be feeling alone at the same time. Reach out. Reach out to someone else. Because when you're feeling alone, I'm pretty sure someone else is feeling alone too. So phone them, send them a message, and let's stay connected. Let's stay a community. Let's stand in unity and enjoy life together. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for who you are and that you are always with us. I thank you that in those times where we feel alone, that you'll just come and give us the boldness to connect with other people. That you'll just give us a name of a person that we can just phone or send a message to. I thank you, Holy Spirit, that you'll keep us connected, that you'll keep our community connected, and that we'll all be able to stand and enjoy life together and not feel all alone. I thank you for that in Jesus' name. Amen. Until next time.